Uh, you can come in, Miss Shelton. Uh, just take a seat right there. Perfect. My name is Mr. Ulster. I'll be running this psychological evaluation. Uh, Miss Ortega there in the corner will be running the polygraph for the entirety of the exam. Uh, as we begin, I just have a few basic questions to begin with uh, to help us calibrate the polygraph. Uh, these will also just be here for our records. Could you please state your name for the record? Margie? Uh, Margaret Shelton. And how old are you? Twenty years old. And what do you do for a living? Um, I used to do all kinds of stuff in my home hometown. Um, now this, hopefully, I've just been traveling the past couple of months. Okay, traveling. Uh, where exactly was your hometown, and how far did you travel? It's in the southwest. It's well over a thousand miles from here. A thousand? Impressive. Uh, for the record, I am required to state that you have a clean bill of health and have no questions about your physical condition. Next, I have a few questions that I'd like you to answer as fast as you can. Uh, on a scale of strongly disagree to strongly agree, respond to these statements. I listen to authority figures in my life. Agree. I am a private person. Agree. I feel like people in my life trust my judgment. Disagree. Hmm. I make mistakes constantly. Neutral. If you betray me, I will never forgive you. Strongly disagree. Hmm. I often stick my nose where it doesn't belong. Disagree. Thank you. That is that for those questions. Uh, next, we have some more personal questions. Uh, though this is indeed a job interview, we encourage you to be honest for your own sake. It will only help your case. Why exactly did you apply for this position? I wanted to find some kind of way to be helpful to someone. Helpful? Hmm. What do you mean by that? Uh, why not volunteer with a wasteland doctor? Wouldn't that be more helpful? Uh, maybe, but I'm not, I don't really know anyone out here, so, um, this seemed like the best opportunity I knew how to take. Fair enough. Uh, next, describe your skill set in one sentence. I can do whatever you need. I know a bit about radiation, first aid, repairs, shooting, and some other stuff, and I'd be willing to learn more if you needed something else. Okay. Uh, please disclose any illnesses, conditions, or past medical procedures you've undergone that may impact your ability to complete the job. None. Okay. Uh, are you addicted to any camps? No. Have you ever frozen up in a tense situation? No. Thank you. Uh, what happened? Well, one time I was out with my brother. It was a little outside of town. There was a rat scorpion. I didn't know what to do. I didn't say anything. I just uh, stared at it for a moment. My brother saw it a bit after me, and he started running. And that brought me out of the shock. And I followed him, but I don't know what would have happened if I was alone. Wow. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a rat scorpion before, but I'd probably react the same way. Uh, next, are you a member of any other factions or organizations? If so, which ones, and how far does your loyalty to them go? Um, I left all my alliances behind in Cooney. They wouldn't let me back anyway, so I don't have any loyalties yet. Uh, was this Cooney a part of any other factions? Um, if anything, they're like their own faction, but it's just a little isolated town that no one ever leaves. I guess if you think of it like a faction, if you leave, you're out entirely, so no one has ever come back. Probably won't. So that means that you are no longer welcome in Cooney, correct? Right. Okay. Um, could I ask what's with the mask? I just don't trust people immediately. It's better to limit how many people could gas you or do all kinds of other stuff. The only way to be sure that can't happen, people you don't know, is to wear a mask and cover everything else, too. Um, I assure you, Miss Shelton, there's no risk of gas or radiation here. Uh, would you say that you're a paranoid person? I can be paranoid, yeah. You can tell me there won't be gas or radiation, but that assumes you're telling the truth or that you know the truth. Even people you think you know can do things you wouldn't have expected even if you do the right thing, and I don't even know you. Uh, 
valid point, I suppose. Uh, next, I'm going to ask you some more philosophical, ethical questions now. Uh, you're welcome to expound on any of these as much as you'd like. Who was the last person you killed? I've never killed anyone. The polygraph is reading abnormalities here, but it doesn't quite look to lie. Hmm. I think you have more to say on this, Miss Shelton. Were you responsible for someone's death? I... I don't know. I think there's more I could have done. I wish I had done more, but I didn't, and... I don't want to talk about it any more than that. That's fine. Um... Have you ever felt remorse before? I've felt remorse. What moral lines would you never cross? I would... Uh, never let someone else die to save myself. Uh, would any of your past actions or allegiances negatively impact your ability to represent the company in the surrounding communities? I don't think so, but I don't know that much about the communities around here. Fair enough. Uh, that may be beneficial. Sometimes it can be good to be the new player on the field. Uh, next question. Do you have any racial, regional, or faction biases that may hinder your ability to do business with certain groups of bank customers? No. Okay. Can you be bought or bribed? What would it take? I guess if someone had something I needed to save someone else, then maybe I could be bribed with that, but probably not if it weren't for that. Noted. Where do you see yourself in five years? What are your long-term goals? I don't know. Um, I haven't thought that far ahead. Understandable at your age. Um, that's fine. You ever thought of settling down, or do you think you would prefer the traveler's lifestyle? If there was a place I could settle down, I probably would, but I don't know if that'll happen. Okay. Uh, finally, some hypothetical scenarios for you. There's no right answer to these, but there are wrong ones. Uh, say a company representative gives you chems to sell in your next caravan. How do you respond? I'd ask them what the chems are for and why we're selling them. Okay, let's say this person responds and says that the cans are for anyone who's buying and says they'll turn a hefty profit. Um, I'd probably only sell the sorts of cams that people actually need, like Radex, Stimpaks, Radaway, stuff like that, just to people who really need it. Uh, any that I hadn't seen before, maybe I would ask someone who knew more about what they did before I did anything with them. Okay. Uh, say a raider band kidnaps a fellow company representative and asks for a hefty ransom. How do you respond? I'd pay it if I could. If I couldn't, I'd get them back some other way. Okay. While traveling, you encounter two non-raider groups in a firefight. It's not clear who started it, or what the source of the conflict is. How do you respond? Keep out of it. It sounds like it'd be dangerous, and it, it's not my business. Seems to be a common response today. Next, you find out that a friend of yours back home is in a real pinch and has asked for your help, even though you're on a caravan presently. How do you respond? I can't really communicate with anyone back home. I'm not sure they're friends anymore anyway, but I guess it would depend on what they needed. Maybe I could do both, but that wouldn't happen, like I said. That works for me. Uh, finally, before I forget, is there any other information you find it necessary to disclose to the company pending your possible employment? Um, I don't think so. Well, then that should be it, Ms. Shelton. Thank you for coming in.